Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and this video is on different additives you can put in your paint to create different effects like cells. Um, I use five different things on the same canvas with the same base mix of paint, as you can see right here. You'll get a closer up look at the end of the video. I actually took some photographs. So I use five things with the same base mix of paint and I created some really interesting things including cells. So please make sure um, if you like this video to give me a thumbs up to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you would like to be notified when I post new videos. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it answers a lot of your questions that um, I've been receiving and thanks for watching guys. Lots of love and enjoy. All right, as you can see, I have my materials set out. I have six areas for the different materials, well, five areas for the materials that we're going to be testing, and then one for the control. So this one's for silicone, dimethicone. I know you can't see that because of the glare, but it does say dimethicone. Mineral oil, dial hand soap, which is glycerin, alcohol, and then the control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix up pink, yellow, and blue, because that way we can see what's mixing together. Obviously, pink and yellow will make orange, yellow and blue make green, pink and blue make purple. I'm also gonna mix up some white. All of this is Artist Loft's paint. Then what I'm gonna do is in each one of these, I'm gonna put some of the color. After I do that, I'm going to put some of the silicone, some silicone in just the pink and the yellow, not the blue. And then I'm gonna put some dimethicone in the pink and the yellow, not the blue, for all of these, okay? Except for this one, which we're not gonna add anything at all. Once I'm done, I'm gonna add white. I'll, put, I'll make the base color, like before I add anything, in a large cup so that it's all the same consistency. So I'll pour pink into each one of these and then I'll go back and add the additive. Um, I'm gonna show you, but I might speed up part of it. That's why I'm explaining it now. So then I'll combine everything in a cup, a clean cup for each one of the areas. We're gonna cover it with aluminum foil, put it in there and we're gonna flip it. <clears throat> now I've used little duct tape covered pieces of styrofoam to try to separate the tray which is actually some sort of canvas that was in really, really bad shape. But I'm also going to put white down inside each one of the areas to help it flow a little bit. So there's not going to be a lot of paint, but there'll be enough to cover that area. And hopefully we can see the difference in how cells are created in each of these areas. So with that said, I'm going to start mixing paint and I will be back when I'm done. And I'm actually going to show you um, the process of putting these in each one uh, just so that you know that I'm actually doing it. So with that being said, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I've now mixed up my paint as you can see. Here's the pink. It's a little bit runnier. Here's my yellow. And here's my blue, okay? Now, the blue, we're not adding anything in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue in each one of these cups until it's all gone.
okay, I'm what I'm looking at here is that they all have about the same amount of each color. I think I'm going to switch these over here. I don't know. No, we'll leave it like that because this is a smaller, smaller section. Okay, so here's my pink. I still have a little bit of pink left over that I'm not going to use. Now, I'm going to add some white. The white is a little bit runnier than the other colors. Okay, now I have my colors all set out and I have some white to put in there to wet them ahead of time. So, in the pink and the yellow, I'm going to put some 3-in-1 All Temp Silicone. Very carefully. Just a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt it on here. That's like one drop in each, not very much, okay? I'm gonna put that to the side because I don't wanna use it again. Done with the silicone. Now, we're gonna do baby oil, which is, if you see, it's basically mineral oil. It's a petroleum product. Even though it doesn't, wait, the ingredients, I can't see any ingredients on here. But this was the closest thing I could find to mineral oil. So again, I'm just going to put just a small amount in the pink and the yellow. Because I don't have very much paint. Just, just like one drop. Now, I found with the hand soap, you need to put a little bit more. So, hold on. Caught on my level, my, I'm still caught on my level. Okay, dial hand soap. It is one of the few soaps you can find that contains glycerin. I don't know if you can, you could probably not even read that. So, in each one of these, put one drop. That was a little bit more in there, but that's okay. So, I need dimethicone. Let me go get that. It's across the room. Hold on. Now, dimethicone is very, it's a type of silicone. It is more friendly to the human body. Um, you can find it in shampoos, soaps, it's a natural protectant for your skin. Um, but I didn't want to add anything with soap in it. So uh, dimethicone is also used in lubricants that you can find on the reproductive aisle in the store. So I'll let you interpret that. And you can also find it at specialty shops, obviously. So I'm just gonna add a little bit into the pink and the yellow. Just a little bit. Gosh. 
Okay, there we go. Now, this is my control. I'm going to wait for my alcohol. What I need to do now is um, what I need to do now is not touch anything because my hands are kind of contaminated. And I'm just going to pull, carefully pull two gloves out of my box. So I'm going to put my glove on. Very carefully. All right, now I have to stir these. And I'm going to use a stick for each one. Now for my alcohol, I'm going to use an eyedropper. Okay, yellow, pink, and I use more alcohol in them than I do in the silicone or the dimethicone or the mineral oil. All right, so now I need to stir those up. Gently, not too much. Yellow. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready to start pouring into my my cups. And I set those aside, so let me grab them. I hope the, the cup might be too big. All right, so we'll start with the control. We're going to put white in the bottom, okay, set it to the side. Then we're going to put pink, then we're going to put blue, pink, blue, and then yellow. Oops. Okay, now comes the fun part. Oops, that didn't look very good. Okay, hold on. I want it somewhat flat because I'm going to flip it carefully. I hope. I mean, I've, this is such an intricate experiment that you can't really um, do it again. I mean, to do it again would be crazy. Oops, I forgot. I knew I had an extra cup. I mean, I keep doing all these steps over and over. Okay. So, white. Pink. Yellow. Oops. 
Okay. That was the alcohol one. Interesting. Okay. Now, it's not like this paint is super runny. Which I think we should do the ones, maybe the ones in the middle first. So this is Dial Hand Soap. Okay, dial hand soap. What am I doing? Mineral oil. Wish me luck. Okay. The methicone. Silicone. And what I'm doing basically is I'm pushing really hard on the cup when I pull the aluminum foil out. Okay. Alcohol, and I'm not pulling in any order necessarily, just which way I think it's going to be easiest to get the cup, the aluminum foil out. And finally, my control. Oops, I have my paints here beside me, my arm hitting them. There we go. Um, if you saw what they all look different, they all look different. I'm actually going to go get my phone and take a picture real quick because you cannot see from the side. So give me one second. You'll be able to see what a mess this is, uh, in these pictures that I'll show you. Where'd my microphone go. Okay. Now the last step, I just... Oh, it's leaking out. Uh, I just want to put some white around there, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now, this one I'll do last. These two I'll do. I'm just going to try to, I need to find a decent brush. This is a brush I don't use very often. So I just want to spread it out some without getting it into the paint. There'll be a lot of white paint on the thing, but that's okay. Now, I did not add anything to prevent cracking or crazing. So that'll be another thing. Do they crack? Do they craze? Does something change with, depending, do they act differently depending on what you put in them? I'm not touching the paint there. Okay. And I'm doing this one last. 
Hopefully the um, barriers will hold. That's just some yellow paint that was um, left. Okay, so I have enough, just enough water in there. And then I can't pull them all at once, so we'll pull these two, then we'll pull these two, and then we'll pull these two. And then I'm just going to tilt the canvas a little bit. So, are you ready? Here we go. This is the silicone cup on the inside. This is the dimethicone cup on the inside. Interesting. I'm not going to get rid of those. I want to kind of leave them like that. I want to know what it looks like. So I'm just going to set it. Well, I would set it on its side somewhere, but I'm running out of room here. I might just set silicone, dimethicone, hand soap. That was my mineral oil. Shit. I never said this was a purely scientific um, mineral oil. This was the hand soap. Hand soap's got to go way over there because I'm running out of room. Alcohol. Alcohol on the inside of the cup. They all basically look a little bit the same. Alcohol goes up here. There's the control. The control has cells. I see cells in every single one of them. And this is the inside of the control. Now, let's see what happens when I move this. Obviously, oh my gosh, I really like the hand soap. Look at the hand soap one. Okay, I think I moved it enough. This goes to show you, no matter what you're doing, I've got orange and yellow, I've got pink and green, yellow and green, green, very, very interesting. So now, I don't have a normal torch, but I do have a lighter that's kind of torch-like. Let me go get that and see what happens. I mean, look at that. This is the soap. Now, in the hand soap, you can hardly see any blue. In the mineral oil, you can't see any yellow, but you can see um, like a light green. Silicone, I have like a huge cell. I got some bitty cells over here. Uh, this did some real interesting stuff right here. This is nice. This is the dimethicone. Do you see how there's a hole there? It pitted. Nothing else is pitting. This alcohol had some really nice stuff going on. And look at that right there. But the control with nothing in it turned out that way. All right. I'll be right back. First, though, I'm going to take photos.
Now, this thing is not a normal torch, but it does have a little flame. All I get are little bitty ones with the mineral oil. It's doing a little bit of stuff here. You can see right there. I think some of those pink cells had already started to form. alcohol I'm just getting itty bitty ones a lot more in the silicone but they're still itty bitty but I didn't add but ooh, look at that those blue ones popped up I'm scared to really put it in there it's really moving if you see look at all those cells holy crap Look what that one turned into. Wow. Here's a dimethicone. So this little torch was $5 at Walmart. I'll show you in a minute what it's called. I'm really afraid to light the styrofoam on fire, so that's it. All right, this is a Scripto wind-resistant lighter it comes in a two pack and the other one is like this but is not wind resistant hopefully you can see the flame okay so this is what you get silicone mineral oil and yes this is hot at the end after using it this long alcohol the control with nothing but paint dial hand soap mineral oil, dimethicone, and silicone. Silicone gave me some great cells. Dimethicone did too, and I'm gonna test the dimethicone because it's supposed to be more water soluble. It's still a skin protectant though. Um, silicone will not wash off of your painting. And I used soap and water, it did not come off. It, it, it was not coming off of my painting. Uh, so I'm very hesitant to use it. I wanted to show you what it can do, but I could not seal it. Uh, varnish does not work. Um, I heard that you could do two layers of pouring medium, and uh, just pure pouring medium over this painting and it would seal it. Uh-uh, it did not. I don't know if I used too much silicone or what, but it did not seal it. Um, I've also heard resin will seal it, but I don't want to, I don't want to get what, get involved with any resin right now. Um, dimethicone may be different. It's a different formulation of silicone. It's safer. It's in shampoos and like creams and or heavy creams uh, to protect your skin. Mineral oil, I imagine you could probably get off, but it did not give you cells like this did. Um, hand soap, I'm not concerned about adding the hand soap in my painting. Alcohol either. These three over here, um, I'm not concerned about adding those into my painting. And you can see over in my control, I did get some nice pink, little pink cells ringed with blue. Now remember, it was the pink and the yellow that had the additives in there, not the blue and not the white. I didn't even add any Oxgal or GAC 800, which GAC 800 prevents cracking and crazing. I did not add any of that. And I did not add um, any Oxgal, which helps with the, um, um, I, in the white, I usually use it. It helps with the surface tension. Uh, it helps release that so colors can rise up. So now let me take the camera down and show you the results of my experiment.
Okay, so here's the silicone. Here's the dimethicone. Hopefully it will focus. Here's the mineral oil. The alcohol. Sorry, my hand's not very steady. Here's the control. You can see it did get those pink and um, I'm trying to see if it focuses. The pink blue cells. Here's the dial hand soap. Here's the dimethicone again. So, if you like this video and you think it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it and you're going to give me a thumbs down, please let me know how I can improve. I'm trying to listen to you guys. I know some of you are very, you're, you're like, I don't want to see all the mixing of the paint. Well, that's okay. I've tried to put some quick videos, but there's people of all different um, abilities watching and experiences. So, I like to vary it up. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, please remember to not only subscribe, but hit the little gray bell so that you can be notified of new projects. I want to thank everyone for watching. Y'all have a great evening. Lots of love.